All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to weld together our frame. Now, remember I told you in the previous video, the first step that we're gonna do is actually build the, the rectangle instead of using the castings as our base. So we're gonna build our, our rectangle, but the first thing I wanted to do was just lay everything out just to make sure everything was gonna fit. I knew it was gonna fit in my head, but I wanted to make sure when I actually laid it out that everything was gonna fit. And what I did discover is based on the height or, or length of my frame, I am gonna end up having to take an angle grinder and cut off uh, one, uh, cut off a section of one of these pieces. Now I've built myself a little jig here so I can, uh, I know everything is square when I just throw the material in. And this is just a, a spacer, a three inch spacer because I want, uh, I know I want this to come three inches up from the bottom and this is where my feet are gonna be going. So that gives me room. So I just put that there just for ease of throwing in the material. So I'm gonna take out the castings and I'm gonna start building up these frames. All right, so the next step, now that we have our frames all put together and we know that they're square, is we're gonna fill in with our castings. Now, since I laid this out beforehand, I know that I'm gonna have to cut one side of these castings to make them fit within my frame. Now, this is personal preference. Uh, it doesn't matter which way that you do it, whether you put your cut pieces at the top or put them at the bottom of your frame, it really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is to make sure that you have them all the same. So if you have three panels, you wanna make sure that uh, all your cut pieces are gonna be either at the top or the bottom. Now, me personally, I like having them at the bottom, but again, it's personal preference. So let's go ahead and fill these in. But since I know that I'm gonna be using my cut pieces at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top and work my way down. Just to, And I'm gonna lay these in here just to make sure that they fit within my frame. I'm, I'm positive that they are, but it's a good thing to do is to just go ahead and lay these in here. That way you know whether or not you're gonna have to do any grinding or not. Now, before I do any cutting to these to make, to make it fit within my frame, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up. I don't really want to uh, cut these before I weld this whole panel together, simply because just in the process of welding or, or putting it together, who knows, uh, I could have a little bit of a gap somewhere and I, and I fill that with a weld and what that's going to do is end up making this you know a little bit longer or a little bit shorter who knows if I have to do any grinding up top I don't know yet so I want to go ahead and weld this as one piece and then cut this so I know that this is an exact fit all right so now that we finished welding up our cast panels uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mark where I know I'm gonna need to cut this. Now to do this, the easiest way for me to do that, I'm just gonna take my frame, sit it right back on top of there, just like that. Make sure I'm lined up up here. Good, I'm all in there. I'm just gonna take my soapstone or you know whatever you have and just make a little mark so I can see what it is that I need to cut. All right, so now that I have my cast panel all welded up and I'm, it's cut to where I know it's gonna fit inside my frame, the next thing I need to do is put it inside the frame and weld it up. Now, the one thing you need to consider when you're putting your cast in is just being able to center it uh, in your frame. Now, to help me with this, I've just got this uh, scrap uh, piece of bar here from an old fence, and I'm just gonna lay this right down and that's gonna rise up my, my panel here perfectly to fit in the center of uh, my one inch tubing here. So I'm gonna take my panel, set that right inside there. Make sure that, oh, look at that. Beautiful, it's perfect fit. That's it, it's all lined up. Now all I gotta do is weld it up. Okay, so we have everything all welded up here on the frame and in the castings. So now we're going to turn this thing around and weld on our wings. Now we have our wings in place. Everything's nice and square. It's pretty easy to tell if these are square thanks to this nice little right angle there. Now all I gotta do is just weld them up. All right, so our next step is to take our flat bar that we're gonna be using uh, basically as our big mount tab, weld that to the top, and then we're gonna weld on our feet and that's it. The next phase is gonna be painting and installation. All right, so here you have the finished product. We got three more of these inside. All we gotta do is paint them and then install them. 
So in the next video, we're gonna go over the installation process and the different ways that we do that and why we do them that way. But it's, it's pretty simple, you're, I think you're gonna like it. I'm Andy Fogarty from theathomewonder.com, I'm here for kingmetals.com. Make sure you check out the other videos in this series on how to choose the design, uh, the building process, why we do it the way we do it, and of course the installation following this video. So that's it, I will see you in the next video.